Keep the whip. Better talk, better be it harder. Yes. Yeah, let's go. The biggest difference for me is right, it, it's our main, one of our main sports, so um, you play it from as soon as you can play it, five, six years old, right? I, it's a bit, bit different at the moment here. We get a lot of guys that have gone to college and not made the NFL team or the football teams, or so they give rugby a shot. But in saying that, like uh, you can't knock the enthusiasm from the boys as well, and they still hit hard. They're still big boys, so I wouldn't be running at them out there anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I want you with just one hooker. Your one hooker, Jerome's the other hooker. Where was the fourth? Ah, uh, yeah, Jolly, go the other hooker. Uh, you're allowed three imports uh, and three exempt players. So exempt players could be blokes that have played for longer than two years in the competition, um, blokes that have a green card. Obviously, we have a Canadian player as well. So we have, we only have two imports. Um, we have about three um, of the others as well, and then the rest of Americans. So we probably have about 17, 18 American players. Um, itself, right, and the, the league's created it so that is the case, so we can get more American guys involved um, and get amongst it obviously out on the field. So for us, the imports really only play um, every year and then they move on, so building a team is, is really building a team around the American blokes, getting them really good and then just bringing some extra blokes in. The beauty of rugby is that it's a simple sport. Um, it's just like American football, principal prime thing is get the ball, make as many metres as possible, and score, as we would call a try, in American terms, a touchdown. And the transferable skill from American football to this, if you can catch, if you can run, if you can tackle, you can become a rugby league player especially. The rules in rugby league are so basic and so fundamental that these guys picked it up instantly. Um, we've got linemen, we've got running backs, we've got safeties. A very variable sort of talent all made the transition. I didn't expect at the beginning to have this kind of response, uh, especially the contingent of our American team. Uh, we are a predominantly uh, local team, you know, guys from all five boroughs playing for the Brooklyn Kings, so uh, it's definitely exceeded expectations so far. I think here in America we're, we're obviously at the bottom, it's a growing sport, but I think rugby is, is the fastest growing sport here in, here in the USA. I think we see ourselves maybe 10 years behind what the MLS is in soccer and we've seen that sport take great strides here in recent years, especially in the world, recent World Cups, which has been great for the sport here. So I think we need to follow in those footsteps and continue growing the sport here, especially at a grassroots deep level. Deep bus, deep bus. Yeah, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Make sure you're backing up. Yes, nice. What's that? Last tackle. Get ready. Wait, run through, Tom. Run through, run through. Uh, being a Broken King means being the best. Uh, we are the best in New York right now. I feel like that personally. A lot of guys on the team feel like that personally. We are the youngest team, one the youngest team in the league right now. We got a lot of young talent, a lot of young potential, and we're looking to make an impact in this league. Finish it off strong. Everyone talking. And rugby is catching on here, especially in Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Kings are well into their second season in the Northeast Division of the USA Rugby League. Rugby is known as a rough and tumble game, predates American football, and enjoys a huge global following. Joining me to talk about how the world of rugby has come to Brooklyn are two members of the Brooklyn Kings Rugby Club, are Shaniette Chowdhury, also known as Sand Pit. He also plays fullback for the Brooklyn Kings, and straight out of New Zealand, Jerome Eastorp also plays hooker for the Brooklyn Kings. It's hooker, right? Yeah. I'm talking about like hooker, yeah. right? All right, no problem. We'll get into that. How is, before we get into the conversation, you played American football, yes, right? Yes, here, you yes, played yes. high school level here? Yes, I've played pretty much my whole life. Huh. Uh, growing up, maybe since I was like five, six years old. So I've been playing for more than a decade now, and uh, I started playing rugby last year. Huh. Yeah. Now. Which sport is tougher? Now, be honest. Oh, American man. football or rugby? If I had a dime every time I heard that, man, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> but um, I would say rugby because it's a combination of two sports, if you think about it. It's a combination of soccer just because of the fast pace, back and forth, moving around. And it's a combination of football as well. So there's a lot of hard hits. Uh, you're running back and forth a lot. You have no breaks whatsoever. 
you're always running back and forth, a lot of condition. You need a lot of endurance to play this game. And with football is that it's more like a chess. I like to compare uh, rugby and football with, with checkers and chess. Uh, chess is like football. It's more tactical. You know, you get a break. Strategic, in. Exactly. Yeah. You got to think about things, you know. With checkers, is like you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. And you never get a timeout too tough? Uh, no, no. Wow. You have to wait until a half. Uh, there's, uh, in our league, we have two halves, uh, 40 minutes each. So the first half, 40 minutes, then you get like a two-minute break, get back on there for another 40 minutes. And like football, you don't have, you don't have all those coaches in the sky, in the, in the booths, in the headsets, no, calling this play, that no, play, right? No. Okay. You're from New Zealand. Yep. So the difference between foreign foot, uh, rugby and American rugby, is it like a McDonald's uh, version of it here? Um, well, I was actually quite surprised about the, the quality of foot, um, football or rugby over here. Um, being from playing both in New Zealand and Australia, obviously guys, players over there have played you know, the sport rugby since they were 12 years old. And it's old. a powerhouse, basically. I mean, yeah. as far as a powerhouse program, it is the number one team in the uh, in the world, basically, yeah, right? So, and yeah. it's all black, basically, yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so coming over here, uh, obviously you have players, uh, American players who, you know, similar like Sean, who, who just picked up the sport last year. But I've been really impressed of, you know, how the American boys have um, adapted to the sport. And, you know, they're, they're like sponges, pretty much. You know, they just want to learn and um, pick up new things. And they just want to basically uh, play as much rugby as they can. And, um, yeah, I've been really impressed about how, how well they've picked up the sport and how quickly they've adapted to the sport. Now, explain your position. Yep. So I, I play hooker, um, which basically you wear number nine out on the field. Um, so in, in our version of rugby, rugby league, uh, basically when a player gets tackled, they must play the ball with their foot. And my position hooker have, have to get to each play the ball. And basically all I have to do is pass it on to the next player or I can pick it up and run myself. So um, I basically play the role of um, distributing the ball to the next player for the next run. And So you're and so almost forth. like, in, in American terms, football, you would be the quarterback. Yeah, so to a similar, degree, yeah, because you, to you a have degree. to know where everyone is, the, the players, yeah. how to play, how each play uh, performs, each particular, uh, as far as how each player performs his position. Yeah, right? so we, we have another position called halfback. Uh, the halfback tells tells basically steers the team around the park. I just basically listen to my halfback and where he wants to go, and then um, follow his instructions accordingly. So just distribute the ball and tell the boys to go. You know, I want one player to take the ball right, okay, another player to take the ball right and um, basically yeah, distribute the ball to whoever my halfback wants me to give the ball to. Sean, your, your position? I play fullback. Um, unlike American football, uh, you play one position on each side. Over here, you play two positions on both so sides. So you're going so you're, both ways? Yes, exactly. Put, the way they used to ways. play football way back in the 30s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for me, as a fullback, I have two roles. Uh, I direct the defense like a linebacker does in American football. I tell the line uh, to either shift left or shift right to fill up gaps. And I also return punts, you know, kicks. Uh, that's like a uh, halfback, a kick returner in football. So I play like a safety role as well, last man uh, in defense. So if a runner from the opposition goes through our gaps and they're about to score, it would be up to me to stop them. Okay. How is the season going so far, and especially with your team, your fan base, and comparing it from last year to this year, knowing that you are in your second year? Right. Right. And you, 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 you're playing in the second year, Correct. so you started yes. last year with this team. Yes. I mean, it's been a great evolution. We've been growing. Uh, the fan base has been growing. We're all over social media now. Um, as a team so far, we started off pretty rough, 0-2. Yeah. You know, we have a brand, uh, brand new team. Last year, we had a lot of experienced guys coming over from all over the world, from other teams, just helping out. This year is pretty different, and it's kind of surprising, I would like to say, because we have probably about seven to eight guys returning from last year, and everyone else is just brand new. And the last three games, we've, we're on a three-game winning streak right now currently, and we've just been pushing the pedal, and uh, we're making a push for the playoffs. So we have about three games left, and hopefully, you know, all goes well, we'll be, we'll be there. How do you feel also being a newcomer to the team, especially arriving here in Brooklyn and playing for this team? It, it feels actually pretty good to um, to be with the Kings at the moment. Um, everyone, when I first got here, everyone was so welcoming, and um, Matthew Bailey, who's the the co-founder of the Kings, you know, um, really went out of his way to make um, me and Anthony, another guy from Australia, uh, feel really welcome here, and um, you know. 
as Sean touched on, you know, we started the season off 0-2, but um, week by week the team's getting closer and closer and you can really, there's a different feel around the team now. So there's some chemistry on yeah, the team? Yeah, there's some chemistry now and I think um, our last three wins really show that that um, the team's coming together. There's some chemistry building there within the team and it's really exciting times at the Kings, um, especially to be part of the team and to be, you really get a sense that you're, you're a part of something that could be special by the end of the season. So. And also you just came off a win, right, last week? Yes, yes we did. We uh, beat our cross town rival, the New York Knights at uh, Pier 40 in Manhattan. It was a really uh, rainy day and it felt like we were in Friday Night Lights. <laughs> it, it was a, it was a one great game. And so. this is one sport, like American football, no matter what, how the, uh, especially the weather conditions, right. the game goes you, on. You keep playing, you keep playing to the whistle blows. And uh, I mean, hats off to the nice day, you know, they gave a run for our money. And uh, hopefully we could continue in doing that going forward. Uh, we have a week off for 4th of July this weekend. And then the week afterwards, we come back at home at Randall's Island to play the uh, Connecticut Wildcats. So all your home games are played at Randall's Island? Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. And uh, we wish you guys luck Thank the you. rest of the season, and we will be in touch. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. And wh who are you playing next, by the way? Connecticut Wildcats. Connecticut Wildcats. All right. Nah. Thanks for coming.